Hello, Expandacraft fans. We have something very special to show you today. This is the 16 foot, what I call a paddle cat with a ridiculously oversized six horsepower Yamaha motor on it. No, it's not designed for that. But you guys keep asking me, well, how much power do you get? Well, okay, I'm gonna try ridiculous. That motor normally goes on this boat, which is a triple 20 footer. And we're only powering it with the motor that typically goes with this one and that's an electric 75 pound thrust i think electric now i don't know how much the yamaha weighs you can look it up yamaha six horsepower motor but we're going to show you top speed runs back and forth and we're also going to show you uh how easy it is to access this boat with the swim ladder on the front and um talk about the uh the technical data of the boat all right let's start her up and uh and do a few passes Guys, subscribe and you get to see more videos of this boat when it's decked out with a seat and everything. We're not using a seat today because this is test day. We don't know where the seat goes with a motor this size. This is just all testing. Everything's new here. I'm learning, as you are, what this boat is going to do. <laughs> this is test number one. So I'm seeing it. You're seeing it the same moment that I'm seeing it. All right. This is him turning. That's a fairly decent turn radius. And he's not planing, but that's not a planing hull boat. The engine is not really running 100% either. Boy, he gets gone fast. All right, he's going to come right at me. And uh, I can hear by the engine it's not running proper. But still... A little splash in the back. Now this is flat, flat water out here. But remember this boat is designed for some rough stuff. That's why those bows stick out. It's a wave piercing bow. All right, here he's gonna come full throttle. Don't forget, hit that subscription bell, the notification bell that is, and subscribe. And you'll get to see this boat with a, we're gonna probably get a, a two horse motor on here, which is, whoops which is a far more appropriate sized motor. Okay, that's not full blast. I can hear that with the motor. And he just went through his own wake. Not a big deal. And again, no seat because we don't know where the seat needs to live for this motor. This is only a test. We're not gonna hook this boat up with that motor. It's just a ridiculous test to see what she does. Expandacraft.com is the website. J. Wesley Stevenson at gmail.com is my email and uh, you can see well that that motor pushes this triple 20 at about 15 miles an hour that is way better than 15 miles an hour I, we don't have a speedo on it but it's certainly more than 15 now what he's going to do is going to come in i think he's going to stop and then we're going to show you what it, how easy it is to get back on this thing once you fall off or jump in the water of an expanded craft versus a kayak. All right, stability test. Uh, we're going to get uh, a 200 pound man, get it close, put both feet on one side and just jump up and down a little bit. So you're not going to turn this boat over. As a matter of fact, he's gonna jump in the water. Put your weight as far out as you can to try and tip the boat over. You'll fall off before you, yeah. Go ahead and take a dive. Now, folks, we're going to show you how you get on and expand the craft. If you're in 50 degree water, the law of 50 is you have a 50-50 chance of surviving a 50-yard swim in 50 degree water. But if you had flipped a kayak, you got to find out some way to get into the kayak. Then you got to bail out if you got to. If you're not in a sit on top, obviously, with an expand the craft and a swim ladder. It's a non-event, and that's what you want in an emergency situation, or if you just want to slip in the water to cool down. Expand the craft is unprecedented in stability. There is absolutely no comparison to any kayak or canoe on the market. Yes, I heard, I can stand up on my kayak. I'm sure you can. Most young, physically fit people can. 
I am neither young nor am I super physically fit. What'd you think about it? Fast. 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 <laughs> Pretty wet ride. Um, being that big of a motor on such a small boat. Uh, probably a little faster than his cautious, but definitely. Was it running better. proper? Because it didn't sound like it was full throttle. It was, and it, it was sputtering, and I'm guessing probably only getting about four horsepower out of the six horsepower. Yeah, there. so it's it's just more than it needs. A 2.3, I think that thing weighs less than 30 pounds and is perfect for that boat. But we had the six, and we thought it would do it. If you uh, subscribe, people, You'll find us doing this with an appropriate size gas motor, the 2.3. We just have to locate somebody with one to borrow because I'm not going to buy an $800 gas motor that I don't really need just to shoot a video. Expandthecraft.com or shoot me an email, jwesleystevenson at gmail.com. That's the letter J, W-E-S-L-E-Y, S-T-E-V-E-N-S-O-N at gmail.com.